Okay, in this video we're going to prove, we're going to use the properties of integers to prove something else. We're going to prove something that, I suppose, when I was in school I was always told this, um, but I was never told why it was the case, that when you multiply two negative numbers, so say if I multiply minus two times minus three, I get a positive number, so I get six. Never seemed to make sense to me, and I suppose it was because I never saw, I never saw the proof of it, and maybe probably if I did see the proof of it, I mightn't have understood it, but um, I'm going to show you the proof of it now anyway, and hopefully I'll be able to do it in a way that you can understand it. So, we're going to prove that minus a by minus b is equal to a times b. A negative by a negative gives us a positive whenever a and b are integers. So, we're going to start off, we're going to start, start off with this expression, and by the... By the distributive property, if I have minus a multiplied by minus b plus b, I will get, uh, let me see, I'll get minus a by minus b. So I can multiply this by this and this by this by the distributive property. So I get minus a times minus b, that by that, plus minus a by b. So plus minus a times b. Okay. But now if we look at, go to the left-hand side. So that, that's by the distributive property, distributive. U T I V. I think I've spelled that right. Maybe not. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so we have minus b plus b on the left hand side. Well, minus b plus b. B is the additive inverse of a. Remember, it's, it's when you add up. If you there's all every integer has a number that you can add to it that gives you zero. It's like the opposite of it. So minus b plus b will give me zero. So this over here is minus a times zero, is equal to minus a by minus b. So minus a times just the same, minus b plus minus a times b. But anything times zero, we've proven that in a previous video, anything times zero is zero. So the left-hand side here is zero. So we've got zero is equal to all of this. So minus a by minus b plus minus a by b. So now, well, let's, let's just add a, b to both sides. So we're gonna add a multiplied by b. So if I add it to the left-hand side, so I'm gonna go a, times b, so a by b plus zero. I didn't have to write that plus zero because, yeah, anyway, I'll get rid of it in a second, is equal to, and I'm gonna have minus a by minus b plus minus a by b, and then I'm gonna add, I added a, b to the left hand side, so I'm gonna add a, b to the right hand side. So a, b to the right hand side. So I just, okay, all I did was plus a, B. So I added AB to both sides. Okay, so now the, the left-hand side, AB plus zero is just AB is equal to, now if you look at the right-hand side, we've got minus AB and we've got plus AB. Up here we said that B was the additive inverse of minus B, so minus AB is the additive inverse of AB. So when I add these two parts together, if I add that to that, I'm going to get zero. So now I have minus A, times minus b, plus, well this whole part is zero, plus zero, and then if I just tidy that up, I get a by b, so a times b is equal to minus a times minus b. So minus by minus is giving us a plus. So next time you do that in school, next time you have to multiply something like minus two by three, um, you know why a minus by minus is gonna give you a plus.